You got a girl that doesn't look a thing like me. The girl your mother always said it would be. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to install MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench. Uh, from that, uh, in the next tutorial, I will teach you how to connect database with MySQL Server with Java. So to start, uh, we have to go to the official page of uh, MySQL. So now we are going there. Mm -hmm. Just type MySQL, MySQL, and uh, click here the MySQL link, MySQL.com, and go to downloads here, download step. And from there, in the left corner, you can see uh, there are some downloads links available. So uh, choose MySQL Community Server. That's the one we want to download. So from there, choose your platform. So I will choose Microsoft Windows. So the other thing is uh, this MySQL is uh, platform independent. That means it can. We can work it in a in any platform. So the platform that I'm working in now is Microsoft Windows. So <coughs> that's why I selected Microsoft Windows. And then uh, click here uh, MSI install a Windows. This link like this and. Uh, then uh, if you are a registered user you can use this email password and login to your account and from there you can download but uh, I am also a registered user but I will select no thanks just take me to the downloads then you can select uh, whatever the server that you like to download so I will choose this one but I am Asian I am not a North American and uh, from there just click start download so you will see it's been downloaded so there now I have already downloaded that setup so I am not going to continue that so I will click pause and cancel that <coughs> then uh, I have to search where my setup is I think it's here mm -hmm. So once you have downloaded that setup, you will see a setup like this. So this is MySQL 5.5 server. Below that, that's another one. That's not related to this one. These are two different setups. Uh, you will see that this one has 1.8 megabytes and this one has only uh, 33 megabytes. So this is the setup you will get once you download it so double click on it like that and uh, here click next accept terms and conditions click next uh, choose here custom installation so from here you have to select the path that you want to save all your databases and other stuff related to this uh, MySQL server. So I will choose folder uh, Jamila. That's my name. There, there are my databases here. So this is the folder that I wanted to save my all my data <coughs> so here yeah, I will click uh, ok ok and uh, you will see uh, other links also directed to the same link like here and this one server data files also I will link that uh, file source to the same folder my 
that and uh, click next then click install uh, it will take some time click yes you got a message like that and uh, okay and after the installation completes uh, you will be redirected to a form like this so here you have to click next and here also next then uh, take this uh, launch the mysql uh, instant configuration wizard and click finish click yes so from here mysql server instance configuration wizard so this is the wizard that we have to do all the configuration related to mysql server so from here also click next here uh, choose detailed configuration uh, but if you are installing uh, this service for the first time uh, if you want you can choose this uh, standard configuration but I prefer uh, it's better to choose detailed configuration so anyway I follow the uh, link that this uh, detailed configuration from here uh, you can just uh, select either uh, anyone here so, but uh, I prefer this one developer machine so then go to a multifunctional database select this one from here choose data and then click next so here also uh, I select decision support DSS OLAP but if you have uh, many <coughs> concurrent accesses more than 20 you can select this online transaction processing or else uh, you can manually uh, do the settings here but I choose decision support DSS OLAP option and uh, click next here I will uh, set the report and uh, port number as it is and tick this at firewall exception uh, for this port and click next here you can select whatever you like but uh, this is the this is the one mostly most mostly use but uh, I prefer this one because uh, we can uh, enter data to our database with many languages if you select this one so I think it's better if you install the full complete uh, setup so I will choose best support for multi languages here and uh, click next so yeah my sql install as windows service click here click yes and uh, tick this one also include the uh, bin directory in windows path and click next so yeah uh, we have created uh, now we have created the local host so the username of that host is root so we have to give a password for that host now so type whatever password you like and uh, tick if you like this and enable root access from uh, remote machines and click next then uh, these are the things uh, that you are ready to execute now so if you are ready to execute